okay welcome to the lecture series related to SCI and the topic we covered is engineering task model and CTT so it is related to task modeling analysis unit and then we go by one by one Okay, so objective is we learn about the importance of task modeling analysis in SCI in our previous lecture and then uh, also learn about hierarchical task analysis so now we will go for engineering task model so here we study or learn about the need for engineering task models and the conquer task tree CTT and engineering task model a tool for engineering task model so the problems with HTA hierarchical task analysis first in order to implement something we need to specify it in uh, an ambiguous way okay and HTA lacks the rigor and formalism required for such specifications and engineering task models are more you more useful as they can be specified formally and easily so here is the characteristics related to ETM simply we can uh, we, uh, in short we can uh, you can say uh, as a ETM engineering task model in short ETM so ETM characteristics so ETM should have uh, flexible and expressive notations and which are able to describe clearly the possible activities so like notations should be sufficiently power to powerful to describe interactive and dynamic behaviors and again notations should be readable so that they can also be interpreted by people with little formal background so uh, and uh, user or you can say people can uh, understand those uh, notations easily again uh, more characteristics so another characteristics of an uh, ETM is that it should have support for use of good design solutions to problems that occur across many applications so here uh, like this is uh, especially especially relevant in industrial context where developers often have to design applications that address similar problems and again uh, at last uh, it is also important that engineering task model uh, make autonomic uh, automatic tools available to support the various uh, phases of the design cycle and these tools should have intuitive representations and provide information useful for the logical activities of designers so tool is conquer task t okay ctt and ctt as an engineering approach to task modeling and a CTT consists of tasks and operators so operators are used to depict temporal relationship between tasks and the key features uh, of its CTT are first focus on activities that users aim to perform second hierarchical structure third graphical syntax then fourth reach set of temporal operators again uh, uh, CTT there are four category uh, task categories are defined first is user task okay these are tasks that represents only internal cognitive activities of a user such as selecting a strategy to solve a problem okay and it is gra uh, graphically depicted with the symbol uh, like a user okay you can see here and can have subtypes such as planning comparing and problem solving okay these are the subtypes related to the user task so next is the second one uh, interaction task these are user actions with possibility of immediate system feedback such as editing a diagram and you can see the symbols related to this graphically depicted here and again uh, can have subtypes uh, such as selections edit and control for interactions then third is application task this refer to tasks performed by the system only and uh, such as generating a query results and the symbols here you can see as a desktop PC okay and can have subtypes such as overview comparison locate grouping processing feedback then the fourth one is abstract task 
okay this refers to uh, task uh, whose uh, subtasks are of different types and uh, for example one user task and one application task or the task uh, type is not yet decided so it shows a abstract view okay and the symbol is here graphical symbol here you can see so ctt provides uh, facility facilities to take care of more task characteristics uh, like uh, iterative task and optional task so we represent iterative task t as uh, t star and an optional task t as uh, in square bracket t so ctt hierarchy here so ctt supports hierarchical task representations and tasks at the same level can represent different options or certain abstraction level to be performed so here is the example like in order to do t1 you have to perform t2 and or t3 so here is a tree structure related to this uh, t1 t2 and t3 and more uh, that in ctt hierarchy does not imply sequence okay and in order to represent sequence the task has to be modeled at the same level in a left to right manner so ctt have some temporal operators so there are eight temporal operators are uh, defined in ctt first enabling operator okay so if uh, you can see here the operator okay and if uh, two task t1 t2 are related by the operator as t uh, enabling operator t2 it means that t2 cannot occur before t1 okay so here you can see in a uh, graphical representation here so you cannot enroll in a course unless you select the course so simply uh, t2 cannot occur before t1 now uh, the second one is choice operator okay so simply square brackets here okay so if task two task t1 and t2 are related by the operator as uh, t uh, choice operator t2 it means uh, that both t1 and t2 are enabled uh, however only one can be performed at a time okay so only one will perform uh, either t1 or t2 so here you can see a picture tutorial or graphical representations related to accessing websites okay simply browse website or access specific information so only one task can be performed here so here you can either browse a website or follow a link for details then next is enabling with information passing operator so uh, we combine here uh, both uh, operator previous one okay so simply if two tasks t1 and t2 are related by operator as so we can say as uh, information passing operator here okay t t2 so it means that t2 can't be performed before sorry uh, t2 can't be performed before t1 and depends on the results of t1 okay so here again graphical representations so some perform query and there are specify query okay generate results so a system can generate results only after user specifies query and the result depends uh, on those queries now next one is the concurrent operator okay so three parallel lines here and if two tasks t1 and t2 are related by the operator as t uh, concurrent operator t2 it means that t1 t2 can be performed at any time in any order okay and uh, here is example you can see here check overload load so check terms and check courses workload so simply to check the overall course load we need to check the semester as well as the course workload the next one is the concurrent communicating operators so two parallel lines and between there is a square brackets so if two tasks t1 t2 are related by the operator as t concurrent communicating operator t2 it means that t1 t2 can be performed concurrently and can exchange informations so here are the example if uh, graphical example define data so you can say uh, see show calendar and enter data and uh, on screen calendar highlighting dates being entered by the user 
again uh, next one is the task independence operator okay two parallel lines and equal sign so if two tasks t1 and t2 are related by the operator as t uh, task independence operator t2 it means that t1 t2 can be performed independent to one another however one uh, when one start it has to finish before the other can start okay so it's like a sequence okay so here is, you can see the uh, graphical representations representation of installing software so first register then implement installation so when installing a new step uh, software you can either register or then install or vice versa then the next one is disabling operator okay if two tasks t1 and t2 are related by the operator as t and relational operator uh, sorry disabling operator t2 it means that t1 usually iterative is completely interrupted by t2 and here you can see graphical representation filling a form so input data is interrupted and send the form okay so user can iteratively input data in a form until it is sent next one is suspend resume operator okay so if uh, two tasks t1 and t2 are related by the operator as t suspend resume operator t2 it means uh, t1 can be inter interrupted by t2 and uh, when t2 ends t1 can resume from where it stopped okay so here is the graphical representations editing a document so edit data then simply print model print okay so editing some data then printing it assuming two can't be performed together so uh, now after the these uh, uh, operators we have uh, task in ctt are used to manipulate objects okay so two types of object defined here so per se perceivable or user interface objects so this refers to output objects for presenting information like windows table graphs or items which users can interact with menus icon windows and then second one is application domain object and these are entities that belong to the application domain so information concurring uh, concerning application objects need to be mapped on to per perceivable uh, objects to be presented to the user an example of application object include an order uh, in a uh, business application or a flight in an air traffic control application and other features like multiple user interface objects can be associated with a domain object okay so here is the example temperatures or a domain object can be represented by a bar chart and a user interface object or a textual uh, textual value another uh, user interface object okay so here are three objects and then each object can be manipulated by one or more task and task can have either uh, other information as attributes like frequency informal descriptions estimated performance time etc then there are some advantages of ctt so formal notations help to check for completeness in specifications like each known base task has uh, at least two children in tree okay and it allows us to compare two models in terms of number of tasks number of basic tasks allocation of tasks number of instances of temporal operators the structure of task models okay number of levels maximum number of sibling tasks etc so here we completed this lecture okay but we will go for another uh, slide for ctt related example okay so we will close it this slide uh, we will close and then we will go to another slide related to ctt example okay so here is the next slide case study related to ctt so simply already we learn uh, learn about the importance of engineering task model and we know the basic idea behind the conquer task tree ctt okay and engineering task model now we will discuss uh, an example to better understand the concept in ctt okay so here is a case study okay suppose you want to model the user task in operating a mobile phone okay and already you know uh, or uh, know the operations of mobile phones so it is easy to understand and further assume that we are interested in modeling the task related to making a phone call only okay 
so simply not taking photos or not listening the music okay so simple first thing to note is that there are three sequential tasks we first switch on the phone okay or power on the phone okay and assuming the phone is always switched off after making a call and then we perform the task necessary to make phone call okay so we can assume like a earlier phone where only we can call okay and then finally we switch off the phone again so switching on of the phone are interaction tasks okay and type of subtask necessary to perform a phone call are not of a single type hence it ha it is an abstract task okay so phone call can't take place before the phone is switched on and thus these two are related by the enabling operator again phone can be switched off any time during a call so this task two tasks are related by a disabling operator and uh, a phone call can't uh, sorry uh, we have to go next okay so the two uh, top level structure of the ctt therefore looks like the following so here you can see a graphical representation so there is the mobile phone okay and you have to switch on to make a call then after call you can switch off okay so uh, let's understand or determine the ta subtask for making a call so we first have to select the number of a person to be called okay task select the number then we dial the number using a make call button okay simply task dial number and now what are the task type here okay so there are lots of uh, you can say task type okay so here is the task type is select number okay so different types are uh, so select number task involves subtasks of different types and simply so it is an abstract task and again dial number is a clearly an interaction task okay so conversation is an interaction task again and it is a repetitive task if we assume that a conversation represents each pair of utterance or simply called caller response okay and uh, remaining task namely disconnect is also interaction task with the system so next we need to find out the relationship between this task okay and it uh, is obvious that select number precedes dial number and which in turn precede conversations so disconnect comes at the end of the sequence of task so therefore select number and dial number should be connected by enabling operator okay and then same uh, operator should uh, apply between dial number and conversations okay and since a call can be disconnected any time during conversation conversation and disconnect should be related with a disabling operator okay here is the uh, graphical representation here so ctt looks like here you can see following after expansions so there is a mobile phone switch on make a call then switch off again between the making call okay select the number dial the number conversations then disconnect so these are the sequence and you can say uh, first level tree and then second level tree so the task select number can be performed in either of the two ways okay we can select the number from a contact list okay task select from list or we can type the number simply task type number then both about task are abstract type okay and they can be further divided into different types of subtasks and connected by the choice operator also so here is the expansion related to this okay so already know uh, we know the two levels of expansions so now the third level is here for select number so select from the list and then type the number okay so task select from list involves four subtasks okay first select the appropriate uh, button menu options to display the list okay like open list the next browse the list element till you arrive at the name of the called person so simply find a task is find name again the task select from list involves for like uh, other uh, subtasks like here select the name using appropriate button task okay so select the name then finally once the name is selected the corresponding number is displayed on the screen so task is show number so first three tasks display list find name select name are all interaction tasks and since these have to be performed in sequence they are connected by the enabling operator 
and the last task display number is of a type application task and moreover it is related with the last task in the previous sequence so select name through the enabling with information passing operator so here last uh, task type number involves two subtasks okay we first need to recall the number again so task is recall number and clearly there is a user task okay and again then we need to actually type the numbers so enter the number and this is clearly an interaction task so two tasks are related to the enabling with information passing operator here so after the uh, levels to expansion again so again we see from first okay top level so there is a mobile phone switched on make call and switch off this is the first level then the second level you here for make call so select number dial number conversation and disconnect again there is the third level so select number select from list and simply type number and again this select from list is again uh, divided so open list find name select name and display number then again type number is also divided into two parts so recall number and simply enter the number so simply here we can see a ctt okay so concurrent task read so here is the uh, the example is completed here we constructed a tree okay as per uh, with the concept using the concept of ctt so here lecture ends for the hierarchical task related engineering task modeling and ctt okay thank you